So I've been an NBA fan for a long time, and I've seen trends come and go. In some ways, I've seen the quality of the sport increase over the years, and in other ways, I've seen it decrease. As long as you're paying attention, you can often make safe bets on where things are headed. That's why today's video is brought to you by DraftKings. With the basketball regular season in full swing, DraftKings has made it incredibly easy to get in on the action. Any new customers who bet just $5 on any wager will get $150 in bonus bets instantly. Use your $150 in bonus bets on DraftKings Same Game Parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together from the same game, including total points scored, number of rebounds by your favorite player, and more. If you're already signed up for DraftKings, don't worry, we've got you covered. All customers can get a no sweat same game parlay or SGPX. Don't get left out in the rain this basketball season. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. For new customers, use my promo code Johnny Arnett and bet just $5 on any wager and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code Johnny Arnett only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Based on the NBA product that I'm witnessing currently, I'm making my predictions on some of the things we'll see over the next 10 years. And let me know in the comments what are some of your predictions as well. First off, someone is outscoring Kobe Bryant's 81 point game in 2006. One of the reasons I believe this is because modern players hold Kobe in such a high regard. They have tremendous respect and reverence for the Mamba to the point that many of them are constantly drawing parallels between themselves and the Lakers legend. With that being considered, you just know that several of these guys would absolutely love to surpass the Mamba's historic night if given the opportunity. For goodness sake, just last season, Donovan Mitchell scored 71 points in a regular season game. But what many people don't realize is that he only scored 16 points in the first half. He wasn't even the game's leading scorer after the first two quarters. If his first half wasn't so pedestrian, then he likely would have outscored Kobe's legendary performance on that very evening. But here's my strongest point. We are seeing a lot of offense in recent history, which is the major reason why I'm making this prediction. In the current NBA, teams are averaging north of 114 points per game which is the highest average since Wilt Chamberlain played basketball in 1970. When Kobe dropped 81 points in the 05-06 season, teams were averaging only 97 points per game. That doesn't quite tell the whole story though. Players are having explosive offensive performances twice as often as they were when Kobe scored 81. Now that statement might sound hyperbolic to some of you, but I promise that it's not. In basically every way you look at it, there is now double the amount of offensive explosions. In the 05-06 season, a total of three players averaged at least 30 points per game. And in the 2022-2023 season, there was a total of six players. In the 05-06 season, six different players scored at least 50 points, for a total of 12 50-point games. And last season, 14 different players scored at least 50 points, with a total of 25 games. In 05-06, there were two games with at least 60 points, and both of them were Kobe Bryant. In 2022-2023, there were four games where a player scored at least 60 points, and two of them were 70-point games. As you guys can see from the evidence, the frequency in which players are offensively erupting has rapidly increased. And because of this, I see it as only a matter of time before someone breaks Kobe's record as the highest scoring performance since the NBA merger. Piggybacking off of my last point is my next prediction. Michael Jordan's record of 63 points in a single playoff game will be surpassed. Honestly, I'm kind of stunned that this record is still somehow standing nearly four decades later. Not only has offense been rapidly inflating over the last 10 years, but it still blows my mind that the highest scoring performance in playoff history took place against a number one ranked defense without making a single three point shot. Surely at some point, a star is gonna torch a seventh or eighth seed to break that record. 
Here's another crazy thing to consider. In the last 10 years, there have been 16 50-point games in the playoffs, yet none of them have reached 60. But I don't think that will be the case for much longer. With scoring at a modern high, and with the volume of 3-point attempts being at an all-time high as well, surely some star is going to get ridiculously hot from 3-point distance and finally break this iconic record. Next up is a prediction about the Spurs rookie star, Victor Wembanyama. In my opinion, Victor will be the next player to achieve the incredibly rare feat of a quadruple double. Obviously, Wemby is a 7 foot 4 inch alien who can be incredibly dominant in many ways on the court simultaneously, thanks to his insane combination of size, length, and agility. At the time I'm making this video, Victor is 19 years old and is only 19 games into his NBA career, yet he's already displayed some of his triple double and quadruple double potential. In his 13th game in the league, he finished with 19 points, 13 rebounds, 4 assists, and 8 blocks. In his 17th game, he put up 22 points, 11 rebounds, 6 steals, and 4 blocks. Currently, he leads the entire NBA in block shots per game, and he's third among 7-footers in steals per game. In this sense, he actually reminds me of Akeem Olajuwon as both players could lead a game on any given night in points, rebounds, assists, steals, or blocks. Again, he's still a teenager who's not even one-third into his rookie season, yet we're already seeing the potential of a statistically historic showing. Just imagine the kind of stat lines he'll be putting up with another seven years of experience and maturation. As things currently stand, only four players in NBA history have ever officially achieved the quadruple double, and they are Nate Thurmond, Alvin Robertson, Hakeem Olajuwon, and David Robinson. Within the next 10 years, I believe Victor will be the fifth. And now, for my most upsetting prediction. I don't believe that Steph Curry, LeBron James, or Kevin Durant will win another championship ring before they retire. The NBA is insanely talented nowadays, and having a super team doesn't carry as much weight as it once did, seeing how most teams have 2-3 legitimate superstars on their roster. LeBron is 38 years old, Steph is 35, and Kevin Durant is 35 as well. Not only is the clock ticking on their days as a top tier player, but currently, none of their teams are performing up to the level that they hoped they would be heading into the 2023-2024 season. There have been very few instances where a player was at least 35 years old and has led his team to a championship as the best player on his team. As of now, the list is basically Michael Jordan and LeBron James. And that's about it. Expecting these players to do this in this extremely competitive modern league isn't just wishful thinking, but it's historically unlikely. Honestly, I could probably give a lot more predictions about the course of the NBA over the next 10 years, but I think I'll save some of those for future videos. Hopefully, 10 years from now, I'll still be doing this YouTube thing, and we'll be able to look back and see how stupid or genius I was for these predictions. So now it's your turn. What are your predictions about the things that will or won't take place over the next 10 years? I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.